What is good everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here. We got some brand new elite figure images for you guys posted by WWE.com. These figures will be revealed at New York Toy Fair on Saturday by Mattel guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we're starting things off with a bang, guys. Look at this right here. We have ringside exclusive flashback two-pack Hardy Boys with the World Tag Team Championships. I absolutely love these. I wish we would have got a different head scan for Jeff. I do like that they have that true effects and they've added some details to the hair, but I wish we were going to get a newer head scan instead of that same WrestleMania Battle Pack head scan. But Matt Hardy and Jeff look incredible. I love that we're getting the cloth t-shirts. We're getting the necklace for Jeff. Obviously, we don't know what these figures look like underneath the shirts just yet but I'm super duper excited for these and it looks like we're going to get our first ever two-in-one elite figure two-pack for the ringside exclusive wwe.com did reveal that it was the ringside exclusive and ringside collectibles did post on their instagram i think it was a couple days ago that they are going to be revealing a new ringside exclusive today in a couple hours or a few hours and they may bump up that time since wwe.com already ruined it but this is uh, what we will find out and if we get new images of it i'll probably post them up to you guys we'll see what these look like without the t-shirts and everything and everything that they will include but these images look amazing i love that even though it's just this one image of both of these figures, but they look incredible. I love it. I'm so happy we're finally getting this version of the Hardy Boys, and hopefully now that we've get, we're have we getting this, maybe they'll continue to pump out some more. And yeah, two-pack Elite Hardy Boys for the Ringside Exclusive. What a great Ringside Exclusive. I think that, you know, ever since we got the Ringside Collectibles Exclusive Shield Kurt Angle, this is a definite way to bounce back from that with a, a good figure instead of that letdown of a figure. So this is amazing, guys. Cannot wait for these. They look incredible, and we're moving on to the next figures. Next up, guys, we have two figures out of Elite Series 68. Yes, we have the big dog Roman Reigns, and we have a new Daniel Bryan. I love the Daniel Bryan. We're getting the Yes Chant hands. We got a brand new head scan. I love that attire, that Seattle Seahawks-inspired attire. The blue looks a bit bright, but I, I don't care. I love this attire. I think it's beautiful. Um, I've actually wanted a custom of this attire, so I'm very, very happy that we are getting this Daniel Bryan. Roman Reigns, um, you know, it's pretty much the exact same Roman Reigns. We get a universal title. We finally get a fist hand for the Superman punch. I'm so freaking excited for that. Thank God they included that. I remember like talking about this in multiple reviews and stuff. Maybe Mattel's listening. I don't know, but that's why it's important to have these reviews and everything. But besides the Superman punch hand, I don't think anything is really different about this Roman Reigns. It looks like the same head scan. Of course, it is the royal blue, white, and black vest. I do like this vest, so that is cool to see. But I think Daniel Bryan is definitely the better of these two figures. And I can't wait for both of them. You know, I like to collect Roman and everything. But both of these figures look terrific. And we're moving on to the other figures in Elite Series 68. Next up, guys, we have two more figures out of Elite Series 68. We have Braun Strowman, which is literally the exact figure that we've gotten eight times now. This is Elite Series 62 with pretty much the same... I mean, what is different about this figure besides coming with the big instrument here that he played with Elias during that one segment on Monday Night Raw? And then we have the ABA... Undertaker, which I love the Undertaker. I think the Undertaker looks great. It's a different look for him, but the Braun Strowman figure, I think this is a waste of a release. I honestly don't know who is really excited about this figure. I really don't see anything new about it. I wish they would give him Timberlands or something. I mean, just change it up just a little bit. They they really didn't. I mean, I think it would be cool to even have black pants or something like that, but I mean, the Undertaker looks good. I'm excited for the Undertaker, but Braun Strowman is definitely a waste of a space, and we're going into the next figures in this set. Speaking of wasted figures in the set, guys, why are we getting Elite Series 68 Brie Bella? I don't know, but, you know, she is in the series along with King Mabel. I love the King Mabel. I love the details we're getting. I think that it's a great release, something different, a great flashback figure, especially for my boy Christian from Unstable 1047. I know he was looking forward to this release, and I'm excited for that one as well. I do not really like that we're getting Brie Bella, and I don't like that we're getting Braun Strowman, but we still have the Walmart exclusive to get into, as well as a GameStop exclusive, uh, uh, retro series but the, this series isn't the best I mean I honestly I mean we've had we have multiple re-releases in this set and besides King Mabel Undertaker and maybe Daniel Bryan I mean the rest is just a bunch of uh, guys just thrown in there honestly but anyways we're getting into the last figures in the set, guys. We have Pat Patterson. He is the Walmart exclusive in this set. You guys can see he's in the t-shirt and the jogging pants. We get the helmet in there. And then the other figure, the GameStop exclusive Retro Fest. I guess these sell pretty well. And GameStop wants to continue these because we are continuing to get these. We have, you know, Ric Flair and Jim Duggan and a lot more. 
that are to release. And this one is going to be Iron Sheik. I love Iron Sheik. I think he's hilarious. He's great on Twitter. If you guys don't follow Iron Sheik on Twitter, you definitely need to. He is absolutely hilarious. And I like Iron Sheik a lot. I think he's a great flashback here. And I can't wait to get my first Iron Sheik Elite with this GameStop exclusive. We get some nice accessories with this guy. We get the nice cloth entrance robe. And Iron Sheik may make an appearance in the MDT Royal Rumble if this thing releases fast enough. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But seriously, both of these figures look pretty good. I'm excited for it. I like that all the Walmart exclusives have been like nice flashbacks. I think that's really cool that they're doing that. And then Target's been, you know, some other guys, you know, Tar uh, Pete Dunn, more current talent and NXT talent. I think that's pretty cool that they sort of differ store to store. I think that's pretty awesome that they do that. But if we have any more Elite figure images, guys, I will be posting them up to you guys again. Um, all these are Elite 68, and then you have the GameStop exclusive, and then you have the Ringside exclusive Hardy Boys, and we will be, you know, getting into those, and I will be posting more images as Ringside Collectibles posts them up to you guys, and uh, or up to the, you know, the public, and then I will put them up to you guys. But thank you guys for watching. Maybe they'll reveal more at, uh, you know, Toy Fair. We'll have to see. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.